Now, one of the arguments I've heard about uh, the initiative as well, California's battery cage farms are against it, so we should be for it. My first thought is, well, what if they're against it just because we're for it? <laughs> Furthermore, most businesses have very high own provisions of their business, thinking about this for maybe this year, maybe next, but not much further than that. More visionary farms, farms have embraced animal welfare. They know what to do for them what the Animal Welfare Act did for business sectors, protect them. Moreover, what might be bad for California's farms might be good for another state's farms, or another country's farms. Just because they are against it, just because they may be afraid of it, or act afraid of it, doesn't mean you're going to do anything for the animals if buying habits don't change. And it doesn't mean that there isn't something that is more effective, that would be better for the animals. So what I urge all of us is to focus on the basics of animal liberation, that animals are sentient, they're capable of happiness and sadness, that they unavoidably suffer when used as things. If in light of that message, some people take an inferior route, they eat less meat and eggs rather than becoming vegan, or they purchase eggs from barn stuff, from uh, hen stuffed barns, or even eat less inhumanely raised meat, then that is an improvement. But we must act and speak in support of animal liberation with seriousness and with moral clarity, consistency, and credibility. Thank you.